Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create additional user accounts that can access your Sage 50 file. You can also restrict the areas and procedures that these additional users can perform within the company file in order to secure the data within your company file. Note that before you can create multiple user accounts, however, you must first create an administrator account that has access to all of the features within the company file. This user account can then create the other user accounts, which can have restricted access to the company file if needed. To create users and set up security for your Sage 50 company file, select Maintain, then Users, and then Set Up Security from the menu bar. In the user security window that then appears, you must first create the administrator user. To do this, click the user list tab if needed. Then click the new user button that appears at the right side of the window. In the create administrator dialog box that appears, enter the desired name for the administrator user account into the username field. Then enter a password for the account into the choose your password field. Note that you should record this password and save it in a secure place. You will need this password in order to access your company data. Now when you are ready to create the administrator user, click the Save button within the Create Administrator dialog box. Once you create the administrator user, you are logged in as that user and can then create other user accounts. To do this, click the New User button once again. In the User Rights Access window that appears, you can then enter the username and password for the new user, as well as choose an option button that describes the level of access to the company file that this user should be granted. For all levels of access other than selected access, you simply need to then click the Save button that appears at the bottom of the dialog box to save the user account. Now if you choose the selected access option button, then click the next button at the bottom of the dialog box to open the selected access dialog box. Here you can set user security for the different areas of the company file, which are shown in the listing at the left side of the dialog box. Simply click on an area of the company file within the listing at the left side to see the various security options for the selected area appear in a listing of drop-down menus at the right side of the dialog box. You can then use the drop-down menus to select the desired level of user access to each feature or area shown. Now once you have finished setting user access for the various categories, you can then click the Save button at the bottom of the dialog box to create the user account. Within the User Security window, you can also select a user from the listing shown, and then click any of the buttons that appear at the right side of the window to modify user access, copy the user account, delete the selected user, or modify their password. When you have finished creating user accounts, you can click the close button at the bottom of the window to close the user security window. In the future, when you or any other user opens the selected company file, you will be prompted to enter your username and password into the login window that appears. To log into a company file, simply enter your user information into the fields shown and then click the OK button to open and log into the company file. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.